I think Jesus is fully aware of the tendency of our human hearts. And he's aware of the tendencies of mankind. That's us, right? And uh, he prescribed a therapeutic treatment for his church. And he says, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. I think he's far superior to Dr. Phil, right? <laughs> yeah. So he commanded us to go back to that cross. Go back to the cross. Okay? Ponder it. Symbolize. You know, what? It, realize what it symbolizes. Realize the great sacrifice. He wants to do this. He commanded it. That's why we do it. That's why we come up every, every other Sunday or every fourth Sunday once a month. And that's why we do it. And, and he, he didn't say how many times you got to do it, you know. But and that's what we do. We oh, do my it. gosh. And it's therapy for us. We to pour ourselves into that, that time of remembrance and realize, picture the cross. You know, picture that great sacrifice. Picture what he did for ours. So that we can have a right relationship with God our Creator. Next command, seven. Here we are. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength, and your neighbors as yourself. That's what he said. And we're going to go ahead and read that whole that that discourse with his uh, uh, when he, he he told us that it was the greatest command. And so. Um, uh, we're going to read Mark 12, 28, and, uh, and forward. And uh, one of the scribes, a teacher of the law, so we're talking about a Jewish teacher of the law, okay? He was, he was a rabbi, right? He came up and he heard them disputing with one another. Now, it was common in the temple that, that the people would, would talk to the rabbis and they would discuss, you know, comparative scriptures, you know? And, uh, and I guess sometimes they would dispute. <laughs> there would be some dispute, I guess. Um, but they were disputing with one another. 